اصحى يا نايم وحد الدايم لا إله إلا الله رمضان كريم Welcome everyone to the Ramadan Revival Podcast. A big Ramadan Mubarak to you and may Allah accept from me and you, Ameen. This is Khadija, your host. Sit back, join us during your suhoor or iftar and come on a journey with us. Grab your cup of halal goodness when you break your fast and join us for the Ramadan Revival Podcast. Hey ladies, I hope everyone's Ramadan is going well so far, inshallah. As you know, I decided to scrap the Ramadan revival episodes, which I pre-recorded before Ramadan, and mainly due to my poor planning and realizing these episodes would be more ideal to share pre-Ramadan, I decided to sort of maybe leave them off for next year, inshallah. We'll see about that. Anyways, so that being said, there is still a Discord group going on and the Facebook group as well as a live cast on the pod. Bean app. My podcast hosting site allows me to do live shows where I basically sit in with sisters and we just chat about Ramadan and random topics. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's casual, very laid back, and it sort of lets you feel like you're with us, but just not physically with us. So it's perfect to sort of leave on when you're having iftar or suhoor, whatever or whenever. So um, also you can even chat with us in the chat box while we are talking and we read your comments and interact with you live. You can can also call in as well as be a part of the live chat. So here is the very first live cast published into an episode. I hope you guys can join us next time. Inshallah. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Can you hear me? I forgot I had my phone. Yes, I forgot I had my phone connected to my Bluetooth. I'm like, I don't hear anything. <laughs> so I gotta go run and find my Bluetooth. <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> How's it going? I feel like this is like a reunion, like last year, subhanAllah. Yeah, during Ramadan, yeah, alhamdulillah, going. Remember really last well. year, Ramadan? So. I do, I do. Alhamdulillah. How was your day today? What did you do today? Let's see. Well, what what time is it now? So it's uh, 2 2.30, you said, right? Yeah, yeah, 2.38 p.m. here. What time is it for you? Is it, do you like 12 hours behind me? Or ahead of me, I should say? Um, it's not quite I am. Uh, let me just try to think about this in my head. I what am ahead of hours. you. Yes. Um, yeah, it's you are. One thirty, one forty now. A.M. Next day, yeah, Friday. Okay. Subhanallah. Yeah, so crazy. Yes. We chatted last year, like we this. did, right? That was for we your did. episode. I think that yes. was the last time yes. we actually talked online. <laughs> Subhanallah. We said messages, you know, we said messages and whatnot, but actually, like talking, talking, no. It's been a whole year. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> I'm trying to be, be a good girl helping you, okay? <laughs> I would like to share maybe some of my iftar thing or maybe the Yeah, support. yeah, yeah. I want to hear. Yeah, because I. I know, yeah, because different people. I heard so many different kind of uh, food people uh, making. But uh, mm. for me, personal choice, actually, I like uh, anything soupy, like noodles. Yes, like soupy. me. Oh. Yeah, yeah. My iftar or my soho is all the time is like soup, noodle. Yeah, and I have a oh, lot of vegetables. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, and I don't like to be so full stomach. <clears throat> And actually, mm-hmm, I enjoy too. the staffing, the staffing whole day. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, you like it? Yeah, yeah, I enjoy it actually because I feel much better. I can sleep better after oh. eating maybe so far, Then I will walk half an hour inside the home, just walk until I digest. Oh, and then I, can, I think much easier because when you walk, like just keep on doing the. Uh, reading dua or reading different kind of uh, tasbih, right? Then, mm-hmm, yeah, you pass your mm-hmm. time here. Yeah, for oh, me. Inshallah. Yeah, maybe different people, different. And then I also, this year, I have a new new schedule. Like, uh, when be- before noon, I was a brief before midnight, then I will finish my Isha. And I also pray only for a cut of the tarari. And then uh-huh. I will sleep and wake up at three o'clock 
Then I will finish my rest of the tari and the uh, winter. And then Mashallah. I start cooking and then eating and then doing my exercise. And actually, I drink more than normally. If I, you, before, I used to like wake up half an hour before iftar and then rush and eat. And you feel very tired whole day or feel very mm. thirsty whole day. But when I wake up earlier and take my time doing things slowly, I, I'm more enjoyable, actually, and more quiet. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So don't rush. Yeah, just just follow what because I know we have young kids is very difficult, mm. and this 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 pattern I only developed this year, and you see oh. I have many years with children, so actually right. when you have children it's more difficult. So just don't push yourself. Enjoy the moment. Do as much as you can. Before I used to miss a lot of tari because. Too tired, wow. or maybe the children are really, really demanding. So I have to mm. squeeze the time. Many times I would pray my tari and rushing, rushing, and don't really enjoying that that tari, the moment, you know. And now the children grow up, then it's more enjoying. So I wow. just say you, you enjoy the Ramadan rather than pushing yourself. Yeah, making like don't force yourself. Yeah. Uh, pretty much, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, what about it, uh, sahur? Sahur, I'm eating same ludo. <laughs> oh, mashallah. I eat the same thing, so I don't need to think so much. I'm really boring, and my children, um, my my family also. I give them also like rice. Uh, they like they need to eat rice because my food are very light. It's good for mm. a old adult. But if they are growing <laughs> age, yeah, yeah, that is not good for them because they are growing age. Then they need to eat rice, meat, vegetable. So right, right, like kind of mix, mix kind of a diet. Mashallah, that's so. I love the noodles. Wow. So my food is really light because it's easy for me to digest. Digest. That's why I say I prefer hunger rather than ah. too full. Make me is that recently so, or always like that? Always like that. That's why I everyone have uh, their own diet, right? So yeah, follow yeah. their own diet. Yeah, but we can share maybe recipe. And sometimes I, I want to follow other people's recipe, but I eat very little. I can eat only little. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Cheryl, so you, you can, like, can, you can un un unmute yourself. Instead of typing, <laughs> Cheryl okay, asked what kind of noodle. Oh, what kind of noodle? Um, rice noodle, any kind of noodle, even oh. pasta, even the spaghetti, oh, wow. all those things. As long as noodle, I don't care. Yeah, oh, I can so eat any kind of noodle. Yeah. Like it's not soup noodle. Yeah, soup noodle, all kind of soup noodle, all kind of noodle. I don't care what noodle. I, I, I like Korean noodle or uh, Japanese noodle. Chinese noodle, oh, what, what I can eat. Yeah, wow. different type. It's the same noodles. size. Like only water, salt, and then you put a lot of vegetable and seafood. Oh, I don't eat oh. meat. I cut my meat also. So you must be so slim. Uh, Cheryl, you're unmuted oh. now. Oh, okay. I'm still, I'm still typing. <laughs> 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 that sounds actually really good, Marshall, and very light and filling. Yeah, uh, I think I need to eat light food, but I do a lot of exercise also. So it keeps me up. And, yeah, and then yeah, I eat I a lot well. of like vitamin C, vitamin D. I take a lot supplement. So, yeah, yeah I survive. Healthy. Yeah. Mashallah, so doing, healthy. Um, as well? Huh? Sorry, I cannot hear. I said, do you work out during Ramadan as well? Yeah, just very light workout. So okay. no sweating, but you just like walking half an hour or doing some stretching because this is the minimum I think we have to move. Yeah, mashallah. You know actually how we met, um, Karima and I, she's actually also a convert, Chinese convert. from. She's from Hong Kong. Um, okay. We actually, subhanAllah, how we met, it was actually on Eid and I was at the Chinese halal restaurant and so was she. And she was on the way to the bathroom and I saw her and I thought, wow, like this is like, she looks Chinese. So I kind of flagged her down. 
And I said, are you Chinese? Like, uh, are you Chinese? Are you a convert? And she said, yes, I am from Hong Kong. And I was like, my parents are from Hong Kong. And kind of had like a, oh my God moment. And that's how we became friends. SubhanAllah. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful how Allah brings people together. It is. Especially people from like your culture, your background and whatnot. And not yeah. Anything, so. And it's very rare, you know, it's a rare thing. Um, it's kind of like more common to meet sisters from China, but like Hong Kong. Um, I mean like right, mainland right. China, but like Hong Kong, it's, it's pretty rare. Yeah, there's not like too many. There's like a bit, like a handful in, in Toronto that I've met. So it was really wow. Walaikum salam, Kira. Kira has entered the we at a restaurant live session. I need to go to Toronto. Yeah, isn't that crazy? And that's the beautiful mm -hmm. thing about Toronto. You can just sort of meet people like that. I, I definitely can't do that here. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you definitely can. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, how could you, right? Have, uh, do you, are there Muslims, like a lot of Muslims there? We have a good population. I would say a lot, a lot of um, Somali refugees are up here as well. We oh, have wow. We have a decent population. You know, you don't, it's not like you're going to walk into a store and see somebody else like you, but occasionally you do see other Muslims around. Mm. But when you do, oh, like, do you more. talk to them? I or do, it's not yes. an easy go, thing? Like, I would go chase somebody down. <laughs> oh really yeah that's that's sort of like me in toronto sort of like hey you but it's more like if i see like a chinese um hijabi because it's it's not like common you know and it's really right. nice to actually meet another convert from your cultural background i i understand completely You're right really nice. and rare sometimes but it's really nice assalamu right. alaikum Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All right, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Yes. Kira has joined us. She's the other admin. She's one of the admins. Hello. Yes, yes. Hello. alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. She's from the U.S. too. Oh, mashallah. Oh, where are you from? I live in Alaska. Oh, wow. Mashallah. I mean, where are you? You're from Ohio, right? I'm from Ohio. I'm from Ohio, but I live in Alaska now. Oh, wow, mashallah, big move. <laughs> I've been all over. <laughs> yeah, you, you have, mashallah. You've like done the whole, almost like the whole map of US. Yeah, We're, yeah I need to hit the West Coast a little bit more, but pretty much we've been a little more, a lot of places. We lived in Texas, Georgia for a little bit, um, Hawaii, and now we're back to Alaska. Did you go to the oh, aquarium mashallah. in Georgia? I did. It was so fun. Did I ask you that? Did I ask you that? I don't know. I don't think so. Because I remember when I went to Georgia and I went there specifically for the aquarium and it was so beautiful. It was. It, it, it was a good time. We had a good time. And ironically, the day we went, it was like free day for the teachers or something. So it was packed. Oh, like, it's a great wow. day to go. But overall, <laughs> we had fun and, you know, it wasn't too, too bad. We survived. <laughs> and it's yeah, pre-COVID, uh, so it was much, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. probably why it was packed. <laughs> everywhere yeah, was, was packed. Everywhere. COVID. So Sherelle and I actually met. She was actually the f one of the first Muslims I met, right? Yeah. Many many years ago. Many many years. Oh. Um, when I lived in this in the U.S. When I lived in the U.S., I. I met her at the mosque in Ohio, Clifton, Ohio, right? Clifton? Yep. That's the... Oh, well, Cincinnati. <laughs> Clifton, Clifton Masjid in Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> wow, um, and how we met was, um, she was actually like the... I would say like you were the only friendly Muslim that was really welcoming, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. I'm glad I yeah, took a chance, yeah. you know. It's kind of hard meeting people sometimes. It is. But you were really friendly, mashallah. It was. We used to get together every Friday and go to yeah, your house Juma. after, after Juma. Yeah, Bring cupcakes was... and food and... <laughs> and falafel oh, mix. <laughs> <laughs> falafel. 
<laughs> and my salad, oh, my delicious salad. <laughs> oh, your salad I, was so good. I still make that salad to this day, like the exact same salad. Wow, mashallah. You have that salad. It was with like those tocino chips, right? If I remember correctly. Oh, no, no, it had fruit and stuff in it and eggs and tomato. I actually forgot the salad. <laughs> I thought it had like, to get the to, like I thought it had like, tur uh, like tortilla chips. Like it might have. I might have put them on there a few times. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. But you need to give me the recipe thing. again. You have to refresh my memory. I, I think oh, she's been like, um, but yeah. Look, how are how are your Ramadans going so far? I would say over what overall, Alhamdulillah, you know it's going well. Um, I set a small goal of just reading the Quran daily, and I'm trying to stick to that. Cause I know I can't. Okay, we got here. I know I can't read a whole juice a day. That's just unrealistic for me. Yeah. So at the very least, let me you know read it daily. Get back in the habit of reading it daily because I fell off of that habit. So I need to get back into that habit. Um, I know I'm increasing worship as far as like making bigger throughout the day. I'm trying to be more mm -hmm. conscious of doing that and not spending so much time on my phone because it's so easy to just like scroll through Facebook, Instagram, whatever. And right. literally just scrolling through, not reading anything, just scrolling through. So I'm trying to be more conscious about putting my phone down. Unfortunately, because it's so prayers are so late and everything's so early, I haven't prayed to Harawi. I, I think I did like once. So <laughs> I should at least try to do that more. Right. I think I prayed it like twice only so far. <laughs> yeah, I've done it like once. Yeah. And just. For me, because I'm trying to, so I I used to always pray my sunnas, like all of them. Um, yeah, the twelve um, during the day. Yeah, the twelve. Uh huh. And then I just I started sort that last of Ramadan and fell off. Fell off. Yeah, I I was yeah, doing this. I was doing this in Toronto, but like when I came here, I just obviously my schedule is different now, and I am busy with a lot of other, different things. So I. Mm -hmm. oh, like obviously it's not an excuse but it kind of is an excuse um so i i ended up like just sort of neglecting the sunnah prayer so i was listening to stephanie who was one of the admins um when i interviewed her about like for the pre for the ramadan actually for the ramadan podcast which is like her okay. episode is like the only one that i was able to air and then like i realized because i spent so much time on that episode i was like okay i'm not doing this for like six other ones <laughs> like you know like, I can't do this. so <laughs> yeah um but what i did take away from her episode was that uh she just mentioned the sunnah prayers and then i thought to myself like i kind of felt like bad that i sort of kicked it to the curb you know what i mean like mm -hmm. so i'm really trying to get back on that and because i i want to be consistent with them inshallah after ramadan because i know like obviously like i don't plan on and i'm gonna say this like <coughs> keep it real i don't plan on actually like i don't do the night prayer like outside of ramadan you know what i mean i don't pray like qiyam um right but obviously like because it's ramadan like inshallah like i do plan on praying uh as much as i can but i feel like the inshallah. sunnah prayers inshallah is something that i really want to carry on again after ramadan so i'm really hoping that's what I'm working on, basically. That's my little, like you said, like my little, like your, what's it called? It's 2.30 a.m. 2 here. I'm like half asleep, but um, it's my little, like, uh, what's it called? Like acts of worship that I want to be I'll able to be on. consistent with. Yeah. Right. I mean, not little. I don't co consider that no, little, but little. like my yeah, act of worship. Little, excuse me. Yeah, it's nothing Yeah, little. you know what I mean. I feel like the whore was the hardest I don't, that's, I don't know. That was like the hardest one to continue. Right. Because I still it's do four. Fajr like and Maghrib and occasionally Isha. But the horror was just like. Yeah, because it's like uh. two, two, <laughs> four, and then two. Like it's a lot. Right. Yeah. Sorry, please. Were you saying ahead. something, Kira? I was going to say, like, especially two. And I think, Sherelle, you can relate. And even more so because you have three kids. Like, when you have kids in the mix, like, trying to do Sunnah at Zor time, like, they want to eat and do all sorts of stuff. So it's hard. Yes. Oh, yeah. Of course, usually around lunchtime, right? So it's like I try to plan ahead of time, have food ready, but it never works out that way. Yeah. How can moms even <laughs> incorporate like all the sunnas in their in their daily lives? Like, alhamdulillah, I'm not a mother. I don't have kids, alhamdulillah. But like, 
that's even hard for me. <laughs> you know, how do moms <laughs> do that? Like I said, who is the hardest like, one? I, I'm, is routine like that? That's 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 not going anywhere, inshallah. That's that fast. And Maghrib is pretty regular. Maghrib, regular. Isha, yeah. But the whore, that's the hard one. Especially like I said, if you leave the house, I, I don't know. Because it's one thing to like to go to a fitting room and pray, you know, for our cause of the whore. But then to add like what eight more to it, yeah, that's, that's a bit much. you know, that's the thing. It's a struggle. You know what I mean? So. That's what I'm trying to do. And also reading uh, at least a page of Quran every day and watching. Um, so, I, you know, as you know, you guys, I, I was taking the color course um, with yes. the sheikh. And I so the course is finished now. Alhamdulillah. So now what I'm doing is um, going back to all his recordings and just listening to them and, and sort of trying to... Um, absorb them you know so i'm i'm trying to incorporate this as well so i i actually do have quite a few tasks that um actually i don't want to call them tasks but just some some things that i i want to do and i i feel like my ramadan started off really slowly but um you know because i want to pace myself right yeah 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 and then come the last day you're like i'm done i'm tired exactly (laughs) and which is what i what i've been doing like when i first converted that was me like starting off like full speed ahead doing everything and doing everything everything. and then like when it's like the last 10 nights i'm like oh my god like you know (laughs) what i mean like i'm just done (laughs) done. i was done so i'm just trying to pace myself but do you guys is it is there a lockdown in alaska um not really. Things are lifting up. Like we still have to wear masks when you go out, and but there's some places where you don't. Have, well, you don't have to. In, in, in my city in Anchorage, um, you still have to wear you still have to wear a mask when you go out. Although at my chiropractic, when I go, uh, you don't mm-hmm. have to wear a mask there because the type of social system they have, they said it's optional. Um, restaurants oh, wow. are opening back. Oh, right. re- the restaurants have opened back up, but I think they're at like fifty percent capacity now. Mm. So things are you know opening up. The kids' areas, like inside the museum and stuff. I, I, oh wow! Sorry. What about you, Kira? Is there a lockdown? <laughs> We're just starting to come out of it, but like people are being stupid and whatnot. So I feel like pretty soon we're so probably going to go, go into in. another one. <laughs> <laughs> what part of California are you in? I'm in the Bay Area. Okay. Yeah. Are like, there? A lo- there's a lot of Muslims here, right? Yeah, alhamdulillah, like in South Bay, especially in Daly City, like close to San Francisco, there's a good population here, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Is Bay Area is like San Francisco? Is that what you just said? Yeah, it's like San Francisco and the surrounding cities, although it's more like cities in quotation marks because I would say... Full house. When I think about San Francisco, I think about full house. (laughs) (laughs) Right? (laughs) I'm not gonna lie, that was my favorite show growing up. I love that show. I think we all watched that show. Yeah. Kira, did you watch it or was it like past? Yeah, I did watch it growing up actually. Really? Yeah, like they kept it on when I was a kid. So Um Yeah, I love that show. I mean I loved that show. Obviously, like I feel like if I watched it now I'd be like, What the heck is this nonsense? (laughs) You know? But it was like, it was one of those childhood things, you know? Nostalgic. It is. It's a childhood memory. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Like, I feel like when I when I see, like, those posts about, you know, you're a 90s kid when, and I'm just like, wow. So nostalgic. <laughs> Some of the stuff I forgot. I'm like, whoa, we did have those. <laughs> 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 and then when I see Jesus like so old. <laughs> pagers, do you remember pagers? Oh my god! I never had one, but yes, I remember. And um, I had I a pager. Had my, um, only my dad would call me on that. Um, pagers were like the most useless things, you know. They really were. It's like someone pages you. You have to go to a payphone and call them back. Like it's so you have cell phones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like what a joke! It was so useless. But oh my goodness! And did you um? Do you remember those brick cell phones, like the Motorola brick ones, that are like the size of a brick, literally? Yes, my parents still have one in the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, they so still have one. This phone. 
Yes, I'm like, why are you guys <laughs> keeping it? Like, you can do anything with it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, not- that's like museum. Like, that's like a museum item. You remember floppy disk and stuff? Oh my gosh, floppy disk. <laughs> wow. Or burning like, CDs. Yeah, burning CDs. Even just CDs, oh a CD player. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah. Because they don't have those now, do they? I don't even know what's going on. I'm so. Me neither. Like, I just remember DVDs and they don't have those now. It's so crazy. And you know, Absolutely. Netflix used to be like, they used to mail, mail it in. in. This- yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the crazy thing. Those big old red boxes in, in grocery stores. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that are Kroger's oh, yeah. or Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't that just remind you how old you are? Yeah, Kinda just a little bit. Yeah. And like, okay, you know, you tell the like, youth. My app. You have Netflix you, on what? your phone. Like, it's, you know, it's an app now. I know. That's the crazy thing. Netflix is an app. I know. Yeah. The craziest thing is like if you tell the youth about these things, they're like, What the heck? You know? <laughs> I mean some of them still know like what it is, but like if you say Backstreet Boys, they're like, Who? Like, you know? And we're Who like, Oh, Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys are I was never part of the new kids on the block. Um like I wasn't I, I, I like I was too young for that, but Backstreet I didn't get Boys, into them, yeah. Yeah, Backstreet Britney and Spears, Spears, that was pretty Spears. Yeah, yeah. Because we're the same, I think we're the same year, right? I, I have never mentioned my year, but we're close. I, yeah, I know we're close. I know we're close. Yeah. Yes. That like, is so funny. Yeah. Like, I was, that women in general, I think it's just our culture where we don't mention our age. Yeah. Do you think yeah. so? It's just our culture because my husband, he's Nigerian and they say age all the time. Like, it's not a big deal to them to say, okay, you're 40, you're 50. How are, you, you are how old you are. Like, it's not a big deal. But for American culture, I would say, maybe probably Canadian too, it's such a big deal yeah. for people to not know how old you are. But it's like, funny. you are embarrassed. Or- like, if I was younger, I wouldn't mind. But I think because I'm older, I, I don't. But you know I you mind know, now. Girl. It's so weird. Like, I'm, I'm actually fitting into, like, that age group stereotype that I never thought I would fit into. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not old. I feel so old. But, you shouldn't though. You're not. I don't act. Okay, th- let's be honest though. I probably act more immature than some of you <laughs> who are like ten years plus or like you know like Fatwa is more like. So I was okay. This is so funny. I was editing like the first um the first live cast episode. The- these live casts you can play sound effects, right? <laughs> and uh, and oh, while can ev- you do the thing? <laughs> It's okay, great. Wait, how it, do you guys. use it? Where is it? Okay, no, only the admin can do it. Um, hold oh, on, let okay. me find it. Hold on one sec. Uh, okay, here it is. Okay, so this is what was going on like in the first <laughs> live cast. <laughs> <laughs> so this was this is what I was doing like like Fatima was talking and I just randomly played this while she was talking. <laughs> I was like laughing my head off, like, like I was like the only one laughing my head off. <laughs> it was funny though. Wait, I, I, I think I was like, wow. yeah. I was like, yeah, you were there actually. You did join, yeah, but I'm not sure if it you. Was, it, I don't know. I did you laughing. hear that? Yeah, I did hear it. I, I chuckled. She was like, "What is that?" I'm like, "Hee hee hee." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I just. Oh wait, what is this? Ten, nine, eight. Oh, wow. Seven. Six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, anyways, like back to the topic. I so I was playing all these things and I was just laughing to myself. And I and then like I was listening to myself, like I was editing the podcast and I was just listening to myself, like, wow, how old am I? Really? Like nothing has changed no, since high school. school. <laughs> it's called having fun, okay? The minute you stop having fun, <laughs> that's when you turn old. Exactly. Yes. See? Thank like, you. I Thank laugh you at myself all day long. Thank you for validating yeah, I, my course, maturity level. You know, hey, I crack myself up all day long. I'm like literally laughing at myself. Same. But you and know, no one on else is laughing but me. I'm like, I don't have exactly. a Exactly. Well, that's exactly <laughs> me. But on the real, like, I feel like when we need to be mature, we're mature, you know? Like, when the yeah, time comes, yeah. This, I yeah. Can turn the switch on. Right, exactly. <laughs> and I actually don't think everything is funny, you know? Actually, I also, you know, like, 
I find that, and I've mentioned this a few times on my Facebook statuses, that like I'm the type that like I'll laugh just to fill in like the silence, the awkward silence. Yeah, even if it's not <laughs> funny, you know what I mean. Like I just laugh, but it doesn't mean it's funny because do. I don't know what else to say, and I don't want people to think that I'm rude. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So you just laugh, just nervous laughter. Like yes, I yes. Don't know what to say? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't want to seem <laughs> rude, so I'll just laugh. Like, like it's not funny at all. But I just like I don't know what to say, so I'm just like, <laughs> like you know the awkward like. <laughs> The awkward laugh. <laughs> I think that's like from like just sitcoms, you know, because like sitcoms growing up, like people just laugh when it's weird, like the awkward laugh, you know, like, okay, like, because like, I feel it's rude when there's just moments of silence and it's awkward. Do you feel <laughs> me, you guys? Or am I the only one? Yeah, but, 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 yeah. but sometimes you got to be okay with being uncomfortable, you know, like, yeah, it'll pass. Yeah. It'll pass. You I just to... feel rude. Like, I don't want to feel rude. I think it's so Canadian, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, silence? Oh, insert laugh here. Like, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Like, you guys, the... I guess stigma is it that sort of everybody has to just be a certain way during Ramadan. And then if you're not that way, if you don't do, like, X amount of um, things that people online are doing, like, you suck. You know what I mean? Oh, you say you suck. yeah. You, the, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I see yeah. it. You know what I mean? It's a really frustrating thing. Because, like, mm -hmm. the people online aren't taking into any account, like, the circumstances of other people. And then also, yeah. too, like, they're really devaluing. I don't know. I'm just going to take this from the perspective of a mom. They really devalue what we do, like, our role as mothers. Because raising kids is an ibadah, too. But, like, they're like, oh, you didn't read a bunch of Quran. It's like you did nothing. But it's like, I've been doing something all day long, you know? Right. I, I kept this little person alive. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Do you feel like people are shaming you for that? I mean, I don't know if it's, like, direct shaming or more like an internalized kind of thing. Where it's like, I'll see people's posts online. They're like, oh, you should be this far now. And I'm just oh, like, yeah. Whoop, or like, I'm what not. Jews are you on right now? Uh, yeah, and it's just one. like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, like, first page. <laughs> like, right. You know? I'm still in the first 10 pages, but I'm still moving. That's all, you know, consistent, small, consistent, deep. Exactly. I think that's more beneficial than, like you said, burning out at the I end of Ramadan. Exactly. And I'm actually seeing actually more posts about that, about how, you know, you shouldn't focus so much on like going hardcore and just focusing on things you can do and, you know, do consistently, especially outside of Ramadan. I'm seeing more about like seeing more posts on that. I'm glad people are speaking out about it. Yeah, it's about time. Because you know I remember I mean? the last few years, like, People have sent out like planners and you sh it's like a whole list of things you need to do every single day. And I'm like, and it's like literally like 10 to 12 things, not including your everyday life. <laughs> 10 like, to 12 oh, things. I'm laughing yes. at that. Like, oh, subhanAllah. And I would try, but then I, I couldn't keep up. And so I would feel like I'm failing at Ramadan because I can't keep up with this whole list mm -hmm. of things to do. Because it's just, I mean, some people can do that. They may have the time. They may have, you know, read the Quran may come easy to them so they can finish Four pages after each salah. I can't do that. Really, right. I cannot do that. I feel like, um, like if someone can do all those things, like good for you. But don't enforce it on other people. Like you know what I mean. And then like if you like don't enforce it on others and shame them at the same yep. time. Don't make me yeah. feel like I'm less than because I can't do what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah, like I and hate like that. It kind of makes you, too, feel resentful towards people who, like, can do that. And yeah. that shouldn't be a thing, you know? Like, it should be, they can do that, great for them. I can do what I can do within my own capacity. Alhamdulillah, great for me. Like, exactly. You do you. You know what I mean? Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. And at the end of the day... To... Uh, sorry, Sherelle, what did you say? Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, at the end of the day, and I always say this because it's true, 
And as a reminder to myself too, like all the things that you're doing, it's from Allah anyways. It's not from you. You know what I mean? You always say well, that. That's that something you always say. Yeah, because it's true. It's a it's a reminder that we need to remember <laughs> that it's it's from Allah. Because a lot everything. of people forget that, you know, they yep. they think that they're the whole like cause and effect, like everything's from their their own selves, and they feel proud of that. No, like it's from Allah, and Allah can take it away in a heartbeat. Heartbeat. So just sit down, <laughs> like you know. Yeah. And I'm saying this. Because, that is like, a very good reminder. Of that. Yeah, because I used to be like that. <sighs> you know what I mean? I used to have those like, oh, hey guys, look at me, but. <laughs> and then like i sort of just realized whoa i need to chill out like eat a slice of humble like, pie like, yeah getting ahead of myself here I need to sit down you know what i mean and allah always teaches us like humbling lessons to keep ourselves in check yes and sometimes you gotta learn the hard way which is you know never any fun but sometimes you need to go through things to really you know take that slice of humble pie i see i can't yeah yeah precise humility is such a beautiful thing you talking about humility ahead. and whatnot. And I was going to say, mm-hmm. like, so some people that are extremely arrogant or, like you said, they think everything is from, from themselves. How do you, mm-hmm. I guess, can you, can you teach someone how to be humble? Like, can you, mm-hmm. like, nicely try to tell someone, hey, maybe you should, like, you know, humble yourself a little bit? I think it depends on who it is, you know? Like, if it's, like, a, okay. if it's, like, someone, for example, like, online friend, like, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> like whatever like <laughs> online like not even like just like an online um acquaintance Bible will teach yeah, you the I just right? if allah wants good for them like he'll just show them it's kind of like that now that's how i look at it you know what i mean because i feel like some people they're just so like their ego takes over and it's really hard to sort of the only you person know? that can tame someone's ego is like themselves you know what i mean like we can't do that for mm-hmm. them so that's i feel true. like just they don't think they have a problem exactly <laughs> like i can't point out your problem to you if you don't if you think everything is good then okay everything is good exactly but if it's someone close yo i'll tell it how it is i know you do <laughs> like, if it, <laughs> like, like, like if it's a good friend i'll be so straightforward because i would want someone <laughs> to tell me you know what i mean like i i don't want to live in like my own delusions don't being delusional the is the worst straightforward oh gosh yeah being delusional <laughs> is like the worst thing so i prefer someone to like just yo slap my face with your harsh yeah, words I-, I need straightforward <laughs> like, um, don't like be around the bush don't be yeah. kind about it so, I need to be have, have tact with it but don't like go around the issue I, I, that doesn't work yeah. well for me i need like straight facts i feel like it, like obviously not everyone takes like straight facts like well but like it depends on our personalities like i think you and i like we like we take we need that you know what i mean i, I do like I it might that. it might sting at first like the first slap might sting but then like after it's like oh wow that's true like she's right yeah yeah she's right so i, I like, was I, just I, thinking about the other day <laughs> my obsession remember my crazy obsession and like the way you like laughed at me and <laughs> What you said, I was like, dang, that was kind of (laughs) mean. But it's what I needed. Like, it was like, okay, sure. Like, think of, think about what you're doing and how much money you're spending, and you know, on what you're spending it on. Like, like it really doesn't. Yeah, and then like you did, you got over it. Yeah, I got over it. It Took me some time to actually like fully get get rid of the stuff and get over that part of it. But, but you yeah. did it. But you, you told know? me. I did it. Alhamdulillah. I, I feel like a, a weight was lifted off my shoulders. Oh, wow. Like, as crazy as that sounds. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I that sold everything. Like, right serious. before we left on vacation, I sold, like, just about everything. I was like, this stuff got to get out of my house. I'm done with it. You've been taking up too much of my time, my money, my energy, my space for too long. You got to go. So, yeah, right. I sold everything. A good friend would really tell you how it is like you know what i mean like straight facts like shooting it <laughs> like shooting straight yeah facts, like an arrow you know? like <laughs> yeah you sometimes you don't want to hear it but you need to hear it you, know? you need to yes yeah i look back at parts of my life and i'm like why in the world how come no one told me anything like why didn't anybody like slap some sense into me so to speak like right you know what it's like it's like you having a big piece of parsley stuck between your teeth oh my god and oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and no one's saying anything. No one's telling you anything. And you're just walking around, you know, in smiling the business meeting, talking, yeah. smiling and talking. <laughs> and like, you know, but there's always going to be that one person that says, hey, you have something between your teeth. Like, you know, you want to be that person. Yeah. So it's like that. I, th- I feel like it's like that. Like, and always trust that person, that. that one that actually tells you there's something in between your teeth. Or yeah, like your, your mascara is like running down your, your eyes. <laughs> 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 like there's so many times where like, you know, obviously in women's gatherings, like we, we can dress up and wear makeup. <clears throat> there's been a couple of times where I'm just like, whoa, like, like, why didn't nobody tell me that, like, I look like a raccoon? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, or panda, whatever. Like, you, you know, know what I mean? I like, like, people don't say things to you. Not you, like you in general. Because one, I don't know, they're, they're insecure. Or they, like, they want to see you kind of embarrass yourself, so to speak. Or be like, I don't know. I don't know how to word it. Or they don't want to hurt your feelings. Girl, yeah. My feelings. If I got something in my teeth, please tell me. But you can put me to, put me to the side, send a text, something. Point. I don't know. Or just be just like, yo, there's there. something in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All so right, tomorrow, that was fun. It was fun. It was fun. So okay, let's no. wrap it up. So yeah. Yes. See you guys tomorrow. Inshallah. Kids. Yeah, you should go. <laughs> yeah, they're they're whiny now. You. you as well. Um, I hope to join you guys more often. Yeah, inshallah. So see you guys tomorrow, inshallah. Inshallah. And, um, salam. Enjoy your iftar. Zah. Ramadan. Ramadan.